Rostock, are you sure, darling? Yes. We can't know unless we try. It's, I feel, is a uh, worthwhile risk. All right. I will uh, steady my hand as my scalpel between my fingers. And I will begin to attempt to slice at the mark. Please make a will save for me. Yeah. That is a 15. Uh, Yara puts the scalpel down and begins to walk away absentmindedly. <clears throat> Yara. Yara. Where, where is she going? Mm. Uh, I'd like to make an arcana or uh, occultism, whichever is more appropriate here as to what just happened. I think I have an idea, but I'd like to pinpoint it. You choose. Hmm. I think I'll do occultism. Okay. 29! Mm -hmm. I think I know, but... Um, Arashtok, mm -hmm. there is definitely uh, some kind of spell woven into this mark. Mm -hmm. Yara is being affected by some kind of confusion type spell. You may want to give her a bit of a slap across the face. She is being compelled, confused. Um, I will hurry after Yara, and I grab you by the shoulders, trying to square your attention onto me. Yara! Yara! Am I still out of it? Um, as Arcelia kind of grabs you, uh, Arcelia, please make a diplomacy check for me. I will use assurance and have a 20. Okay. Um, yeah, you kind of come back to yourself. Forgot the last few minutes or so, Yara. Yara? Hmm. Why am I in the hallway? Harashtag believes that the mark has some kind of compelling magic on it. You were about to make an incision. Really? Here, come with me. Let's rejoin the others. Very well. That is quite strange. I have an Yara. idea. Um, so, <sighs> if, uh, if Yara is unable to um, go through the motions of taking the tattoo off of your body, what if we instead have a device which can do it uh, without any involvement from an elf or other? Uh, what do you mean? Well, is it not possible maybe to create a, a device which could strip your skin on its own? I think I could do it. Magical or mechanical? Mechanical? There's no need uh, for magic. If it was magic, it may be resisted. Uh. You feeling all right, Yara? Y yes, I'm, I'm fine. I just... That was very confusing. Uh, are you all right? Uh, unarmed. It seems that it is indeed magically protected, but... To what extent, I don't know. You could try again, if you wish. If you would like me to, I, I, 
I, I could try. It seemed there was no harm to you. While you two are deciding whether you're going to s- slice him, I'm going to continue building a device, perhaps, which can flay a little piece of skin off and just make sure that it only flays a little bit. There are lots of devices like this for leatherworking or for paper making. Having any tool as well, a traveler's any tool, I'll just, I'll be over here. Probably take you a little while to make something like that. Should I make a roll? Uh, yeah. It's gonna, this isn't a five minute project though. That's fine. Okay. That's a dirty one. Mm -hmm. I can play with the best of them. You think you've got like some kind of contraption kind of worked out? A little Hardly. gear, a little, like a, like a music box, you turn a little gear and a little blade goes round and round and clamps onto a thing. <laughs> okay. Maybe it plays a little tune. That's not terrifying. The tune is why it takes so long to make. The mechanics of it is just very tuning. normal, but... Tuning the little forks on it. <laughs> That's what takes the extra hours. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I'm less scared hearing all those noises. <laughs> yes, if you wish to try again, we can. But more than that, I would be worried. Hmm. All right. Um. Steal. I'll gather my skirt and and kneel back down. Uh, steal yourself. Uh. Hmm. Did you use? Pouch? Did you use my pouch this day? No. No, I did not. It should still have its magical energies. Use that with assurance. Perhaps. Right. Uh, strengthen your mind. Excellent. Um, I will stand a little closer this time, just in case there might be any kind of violent reaction. Hmm. Very well. Right. I'm ready. <sighs> I will take my scalpel and make a secondary attempt. Sure. Um, please make a will save. And that is a plus one with uh, Arashtok's pouch, correct? Uh, two plus with two. the pouch. Right. And assurance would be one, which I would have cast on you. Excellent. So plus three. This will be 29. you begin to make the incision you feel something kind of uh, it feels a bit like a blanket laid across your hand slowly traveling up your arm making its way towards your head there's a feeling of your hair standing up on end and you start to hear words you can't understand in your head. Familiar sounds. You shake it off. You focus. You see your hand shaking a little bit as you make the incision. You take a breath, you steady yourself, and begin to slice into a Rostock's skin. I'm sorry, Rostock. It's all right. I've lost skills before. Make the cuts as cleanly and as quickly as you can. Prying off the scales where the mark is located. As you pry off the scales, you see the flesh beneath. It is also marked. Ah. As we would have likely thought, (gasps) the mark is still present underneath. (sighs) Unsurprising. You may keep going. 
a Rostock. You know where the arteries are. You may avoid them. Rostock, I do not know that however deep we may go, we will be gone. I'm aware. You do not need to go to the bone. Maybe go to the bone. If it is on the bone, it is worse than we think. <sighs> right. Steal yourself? Mm -hmm. I will take one of Arashtok's hands and clench it in mine. We'll I will continue to... tuning my device. Bing! We'll attempt to cut another layer. Arashtok, please give me a will save. Mm. Critical success, 33. That is very good, Arashtok. I had a feeling. <laughs> You're able to keep it together. <clears throat> this is numbed via Karun's potion that she gave you. <clears throat> and still, it doesn't feel that way. It burns. And you realize while our while uh, Yara is cutting, Narcelia holds your hand. Whatever means you are using to try and ignore the pain, you start to feel a burning sensation where Mark is, not where Yara is cutting. Yara cuts, slicing more of your flesh. You grit your teeth, pulling the pain at bay, and the mark burns. It burns. You've been hit by spells, you've been cut by blades. You've been smashed by bludgeoning objects, Arashtok, and yet this burning, it feels more painful than all of those things. <laughs> Is it done? Yara, you cut more flesh away. It's a mess. And yet still, Mark remains. Rostak, I believe we are done here. Uh, I cannot in good conscience continue this. Uh, is it still there? It is still there. <sighs> all right. All right, let me patch you back up, all right? Uh. Begin treating the area, wrapping him in gauze and whatnot. <laughs> um, um, Yara, please make a medicine check. Of course. Uh, 19. Mm -hmm. Um, please roll a d20 for me, Yara. Eight. Okay. Uh, Arashtok, you took eight points of damage on this. <sighs> Squeeze my hand. Yes. I feel the mark in full as though it's always there. Even uh. with the sedative? Yeah, it's interesting. worse than any wound I've taken. Mm, it may be connected more than the flesh. Ah. <sighs> so. It was a good attempt. It might only be able to be removed by magical means then. Or oh, disrupting the curse from its source. 
When I was making the second attempt, I had this feeling move up my arm into my head. And I heard uh, a wail, a belief. It's trying to compel you then. That Indeed. must have been the source of the confusion. Mm. Uh, this was good information. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, Yara. Of course. I'm sorry that it should... was not more fruitful. No, it was. So then? I suppose we know that we need to keep our feet on the ground. Spend the next few days getting ready. Uh -huh. And then we journey forth. We need answers. I wish we had a means of reaching out to Dr. Riddleston as well. See what he's up to. Do we think that Osorio is behind this mark? Yes. If the whale speaks and compels when attempting to mess with it, there is little evidence to the contrary. That's troubling then, isn't it? Wouldn't that presume that we might have encountered the whale at some point to receive these, or servants of the whale? The dream. The oh, memories that I received from the food. I heard the cries of it. I think it may be the source. Hmm. It would have, it would have happened, had to happen during the missing moment as well. Yes. When, when, many, when many of us were gathered. I have had a thought I do not like since that dream. I do not think what we were drawn to, to the gate, was real. I think it was a fabrication of what we desired to draw us in to mock us. I think we were lied to. We did not receive what we wanted. If this mark is tied to the whale, then I look to Yara's symbol on her chest, since it is probably the most prominent other than mine. What does it resemble to you when you look at it? It is a very distinct mark. It is not a scratch. It is not a name. Originally, I thought it was a gate, an Ayudara, but the archways. Uh, I like peer close to you, Arcelia, and your neck. Is. It instead a mountain top with something on it. Would that even be a whale breaching? I am guessing and reaching myself on this. Well, that could be another interpretation. Hmm. I think it's in the realm of possibility. In the dots. It could be stars, moons, 
It did attack with stars that one time we saw it in the vision. Stars gazing down. More questions than answers. And yet we did receive answers, which is more than we had before. <sighs> this is all very troubling. Malavik, you've been quiet. Any thoughts yourself? I do not like the idea of being toyed with by the gods, or whatever this is. Clearly, <laughs> we are pawns. We've been doing something we thought was right, but we're probably aiding in something more malevolent. The gates are an excuse, more than likely. They've always been there. They've always been looked at as something more than what they are. Granted, the gate, I believe the symbol is, still on Aydara. Hmm. We were told that this creature was taken from where we were to here. Correct? Yes, from Castravel. Maybe that's what that is symbolizing. How would they take a creature on their own plane, a planet? that's uh, strong enough, made to, uh, the technology was far beyond ours, to bring it here, to dump it here. It's like placing something with tremendous energy in a small container. This is affecting more than just us, it's affecting a lot of others around us, more than we could ever imagine. That goes to say, my, Original thoughts may be true. Can we even trust ourselves? Who knows if we're under the influence? We watched Yara walk away from a task that they were very adamant about without a thought. We have it envisions of spires and, and all these other things that our own memories may not be of our own, but constructs of what this thing wants us to be. Look into the eyes of each other. Yara doesn't even know her past. No disrespect, respectfully, Yara. As much as I adore you and think I see something in your eyes of compassion, there is a pit of unresolved doubt. Who's to say that you're not linked and connected to her asthma herself and her doings? There are tales and tribes saying that these gods would hit against each other it's always a competition ego bending things wills you name it gain the will of those of their followers by pulling along at strings that may be attached to you emotionally unbreakable bonds aka your sister if you even have one at this point not questioning your resolve but you do not know what has been implanted in us based on this mark we can maybe not even trust ourselves at all. I look in the mirror and see me, but am I... Am I really me? At the end of the day, the drop of a hat, a vision. We lose control, we become... <laughs> betrayers. Sakawashi said it herself. Those are my thoughts. We learned something, though. Yara, you know the feeling of its compelling magic now. Indeed. That is not nothing. You may have an easier time recognizing it when it comes upon you again. If it does, you can distinguish it. That is... exceptionally important. Do on the airs of caution. I believe things like this always run both ways. Though we may know its pull, it also may know that we do now recognize it. This grip will tighten. 
images and dreams and nightmares as we've been having me tug more at our soul than just our minds. Keep yourself with it. I have known, heard stories that the gods could even <laughs> possibly use something so dear to you to turn you against those that you trust the most. We should report in daily. I am of the opinion that we should speak to Sakawachi of all of this. She Sakawachi. has been nothing but our friend so far. Mm, I don't trust oh. her. I'm sorry, I say. They bear the mark as well. They also could be... <sighs> toyed with to make us doubt ourselves, to break in division of ourselves. They called us betrayers without a blink of an eye. I remember that look. It's branded. I'm used to it. These visions that we all are having, they are very vivid, very real. Whether or not they are truth or falsity, she the said something is... that made her feel that way. Yeah. It is up to us to create a, a direct line of communication that is clear so that we disprove that. Is it not? We could use allies on this... Uh, this journey, this... this mountain uh, of a quest that we have in, in front of us. I am not saying to completely disowned. I'm saying to err on a side of caution more than anything. We cannot trust anyone at this point we are being called specifically us if it wasn't specific everyone would be walking around with this mark who knows what we have already done what has been hiding in the back of our minds That missing moment may be a lot larger than we think. Hmm. Do you think that the doctor knows more than he let on? Uh, of course. He's an enabler. He's the one that brought you all together, sent us on these missions, hasn't checked in with us once. I will say he did not bring you and us together. <clears throat> Nor did he bring Sakuachi to us. I have a suspicion that we would have met regardless. Sakuachi was waiting for us. Yes. Who? I think. Sakuachi. The astronomer? She is human, likely Karuna has not oh, paid attention to the names. human, yes, yes, mm. of, yes, I know the human. <laughs> mm. I think we are being drawn together because of the mark, not because of the doctor. He was a convenient tool, maybe for this being you said yourself, Malefic. The gods and higher beings. Maybe toying with all of us, including him, if not especially. Him. Let me ask you a question. Did the doctor seem interested in you and your condition? Or the bigger picture? Oh, it was definitely the knowledge and bigger picture, which truly does mm. make me think what I'm saying may be true. Well, there is something to be said for a scholar who is interested in a topic, particularly one that has affected him, but... Yes. Hmm. When's the last time you spoke to your god? Have they disowned you? Oh, yes. The gods don't really speak through you or at you. But to you the in some way. Which you mean? Rosh My patron. You, Yara. Yes. Oh, Rosh, Rosh talks, talks to their patron daily and nightly. Such shrines. You 
On the other hand, I haven't paid any kind of worships. I have not had any blessings. Well, that is I because say, my magics are a curse. Yes, yes, but... God willing, you are here standing today because of Phrasma, supposedly. I suggest you speak to her, reach out to her. If she does not answer, then we have our answer. I did not know the first thing about trying to commune with the gods. I know how to commune with patrons. They are not gods, though. They are demi. Perhaps if there are clerics in this town, Mm. they might be able to facilitate some sort of a a ritual or something between Mm. us and Phrasma. Mm. But I do not know any such ritual, and I believe it might be a little out of my depth. I am a student of Nethys, god of magic, but no, I don't think I can be any help. I could teach you communing, but I do not know if it would work for Phrasma. Well... I feel like we have an answer right here. Your god, if you've been serving them as they seem fit, seeing that you still stand and walk today, if they have given you real life, they can take it away. Ask the questions to those that are closer to you. If you are on a mission under this goddess, then you should find answers that you seek. Yes. Um... You very well, Yara, may be the key to all of this. I do not know that. In this group, Perhaps Frasma I... has a, a sick sense of humor or something. Mm. Doesn't it upset you that you cannot remember much of your sister? Doesn't it upset you that you do not know? You mentioned something of a balance, but I've only seen things go one way. If there is a balance, and if gods are true to what they rumors say about them keeping their words based off of worship and and, then following some kind of code, you are owed answers. If I were you, I'd be terribly upset. Follow Phrasma wide. It's not some simple god. We talk about Phrasma themselves. I would seek answers. But, again, you are you. I am me. At least who we think we are. No, it is true. I'm... I've not taken a moment to dissect all of it, of course, but... Where was Adronis' god? When he needed help. Where were all of your gods when you were trapped in the the first and (laughs) dealing with an opponent that was beyond your wildest dreams? The dragons, they speak to me. It's only a matter of time. I have an idea, Yara. But it will require a ley line. You get whatever recipe or instructions you need to start a ritual of some sort. We find a ley line and then you use that to amplify your power. If I'm understanding correctly, at least R.C. and I felt the throbbing of the land itself within our veins as if it was one. Am I correct, R.C.? You are, and I have a creeping suspicion of where exactly we can find a ley line. Mm. Sarkoris, where Sakawachi is planning on going. Now I want you to understand, Yara. That power was almost overbearing. I felt like my veins were going to burst in my body. You have to be willing to do this. It can't be something of a thought. You have to be willing with your whole being to contact more than likely a god of that magnitude. 
we will be there for you. But if your heart and soul or whatever it is that you call it is not into it, then do not attempt it. We carry on as normal. No, I mean, I want nothing more than to know what the truth is of my sister. That vision that I saw is... Mm. It has done nothing but confuse me more. It was almost easier knowing that she was dead. Are you willing to accept the consequences that may come with such a trial? You're questioning the very God that gave you real life. But who to say that God did take the life of your sister to bring you in in the first place? Seeking answers is not necessarily questioning mm. someone's motives. Yes. A simple beings of the plane may think that. The ego of the gods, that's a different story. Prepare yourself for anything. I will stand near your side and be your sword. Well, at any rate, perhaps we do not assume immediately that the gods are our enemies. For they mm. have given me life again and powers to protect each and every one of you. With a purpose. That we are all serving. Do not get it twisted, Yara. I'm sorry. I know I am a bringer of negativity, it seems, but I am just trying to be real. If the gods were really looking at us, we would not be in this position. Malavik, darling. There is an equal exchange for many things in life. <laughs> things that you purchase. Hmm. It is understandable oh. that if a god were to bring someone back, they would want them to achieve something. Mm. And Phrasma is not an evil god. Mm. My dear, selfish whims and wants and needs, oddities, doesn't uh, that make you evil. And if anybody knows anything about exchanges, me. I just want you to be prepared for us to come. You all, we all, need to be prepared. I feel like the next steps that we make are going to be some tough decisions coming our way. We need to be mentally strong, fitted. I already know that I'm the weakest of you all. I may be broad, muscle, and destructive power. But when it comes to being broken, I'm shattered. I realize that. So I will depend on you as much as you depend on me. But we would have to be tight knit. I would be lying if I said I wasn't afraid what was out that door. The closer we get to this thing, the more I'm seeing myself as a completely different being of existence than I thought I was. We could all just walk away right now. But I know that's not who we are. <laughs> there is an evil at play here regardless. And an evil that we have no idea what its plans are. Is it though? Is it an evil? Think of it like this, Yara and everyone. Taking away from what you thought was your home, what you thought you knew, and placed imprisonment somewhere far away. We do not know. Karun, you are an elf. What do you know of this? What do I know of what? The history. How this all became to be in the first place. Why did... Why did Galarian become a prison for something so... uncontrollable? I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Um, like, all of the things, you know, mm. that... Uh, <clears throat> it's okay if you, you know. do not know. 
your people will keep secrets from you as well is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Skill, 20. What exactly are you rolling? I was rolling for lore. Okay. I don't... What lore do you have? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I just thought maybe lore was analogous to history. There's different kinds of lore. Um, you can be specialized in lots of different things. Um, oh. So if you don't if you don't have a specific lore, um, oh yeah, I don't, don't I don't have a specific lore. You don't know. The quibbling of the past is no real concern of the modern day problems <laughs> that elves face. All right. Mm. Yeah, I, Modern I, day elves contend with dwarves at every corner, constantly ripping out resources from our homes and such. It's a, a long standing issue which has little to do with the past and is really all about uh, the current actions of the terrible, terrible people out there. In other words, you do not know. It is a long and complicated topic. I would be happy to uh, enlighten you at a later time. But that currently, I am quite busy, as you can see. Oh, yes. How do I forget? And I just stare at Yara and I say, yeah. And then wink at Arashtag. <laughs> My bloodline, the one that I hate, my curse, goes back to ancient times. I do not know the lore of the land as much as you all do. But the closer, the more I take down dragons, the closer I feel like I am losing myself. I am overwhelmed, compelled to destroy and recreate my vision. And unfortunately, I feel like that's a thing of my ancestral past that I cannot escape. So, am I evil? No. Yes. We None need to investigate you. further. You have done so many acts of good. <laughs> I mean, we are all capable of uh, deplorable evil and mm. magnificent good. Am I? I've killed countless of people. Slaughtered And you have done countless good things. Maliciously. I slid a sword in that being that we were... Yeah, and that, and that when we were freeing the ship, I slid a sword through their back I burned slowly. people alive. I broke Because I could not neck. control my magic, Malavik. I Am I evil? Her ear that I will see her in the afterlife and make her pay for what she's done to you. Yeah, Malavik, you saved my life when I was nothing but a stranger to you. It isn't a common person that would do that. Well, my point stands. You see me as a savior, someone that cares, someone you to relate to. Who are we to say that this creature is evil? What if we're being pulled by many strings? The thing that we're trying to prevent is wanting just to escape to go back to their original place. All I'm saying is we have to go in open-minded, but at the same time be very cautious of what we do and we need answers, not Mull around the line and listen to what ifs. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of being a pawn. I'm currently thinking of the steps we've taken to be where we are now. We be we began in Lupitstadt with the professor, and we made our way over to Seven Arches under his guidance to go seek out the Ayodara, figure it out, right? And then through the Ayodara, we made our way to the first world. You went through an Ayodara to go to the first world. Indeed. Mm. That is how we traveled both times. Yeah. Oh. You did not go through an Ayodara when you went to the first world. It was a portal. It was oh. Bonin's portal, wasn't it? 
In the way oh. Mac was the Night oh, no. Dara. The way to from Castrovel, the Galarian was. Uh, you did not use a, portal. You did not use an Ayudara to get to the first world or to leave the first world. Uh. Right. No, it, it was a portal that we went through. Mm. Yes, remember, it was opened up, and then we all regrouped. So, we got the key, the Shade Wither key, from Kanipo in the First World, and when we tried to go through the Ayodara, it broke. Correct? No, the Ayodara we went through broke. You went through a portal and came out from an Ayodara. Mm. So the portal was connected to the Ayodara. Apparently. There was a dragon gate of some sort, an old one, uh, in hunting grounds. I saw someone mulling around dragon shit. So I assume that's how you got there. Too many questions, not enough answers. The answers that we think you have is constructing our minds, is constricting our thoughts, is twisting and turning things. This is what I was afraid of. This is important though, to think and reflect on the actions we've taken to get to where we are now. The connection is the key, the key which we took to the city. And Lost it was Laskialua, and that is mm-hmm. where they made the connection with the Frost Whale, the Black Frost Whale. Indeed. Mm. So, what was Kanipo doing with a key tuned to the Black Frost Whale? Not only that, if it takes a key to open Ayodara's, how in the world do we all step through one all at once at the same time? It's not how the keys work. How do they work? don't work this way, right? I have no idea. Don't... You got to us. We got... We used a key. Uh, you had a key on you. We used a key. They said it was connected to the Ayodora. One of you told me that I wasn't allowed to touch the key. Is this right? It mm, was cursed yes. at a time against stealth. Oh, it was cursed. Remember... That makes more sense. Bolin wanted well. it. When we were fighting Kanipo, and you and Adronis, we traded off the key. How desperate Kanipo was to keep that key, do you recall? Oh, yes. He wished that Kanipo wished it to end all elves. That was the tool for it. <laughs> you were given some information, and it's been a lot of episodes, so I don't expect everybody to remember. But um, you were given some information in Lost Kialua that um, Ayudara do require keys to travel through. Yeah, that's what I remember. So my question still stands. If an Ayudara requires a key, how did we all step through a gate at the same time, activated, missed a moment, ended up somewhere else? I didn't have a key unless The marks on us are actual keys. We did not have the mark going in. However, if you have a locked door and you're on the inside, you may open said door without a key. Hmm. Maybe the Aydara are connected to one place. Hmm. Or, crazy to say, the Ayodora's power is drawn from that whale. Could be why they were sealed. Yes. To stop it from spreading its influence. Hmm. So the whale is a victim just as much as we are. That is not known. 
That is an assumption. The one that we should not ignore. I would like to think on the general geography of Galarian. Do I know if there is a mountain in the uh, the frozen biome where supposedly Osoyo is imprisoned? Mm-hmm. Um, you can make. Ooh, let's see. Uh, I would take nature. I would take. Uh, I don't think anything else is really appropriate for it. Okay. It'd probably be a nature roll. Twenty-seven. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, but are there any prominent, substantial mountains? Um, let me. Sorry, I don't think it's on this map. I was gonna try and show you. Oh, not on this map. Uh, uh, let's see here. Sorry, I don't think I have a map for that. That's okay. Um... That general area is known as the crown of the world. There's many prominent mountains there. Hmm. I try to think back on these memories and visions that we were given. Do we remember it being cold and snow? I remember we mentioned a sled. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. What if they... Ayudara all lead to one gate, and the gate is where the Black Frost Whale is. If those hallucinations were memories, a prophecy, then maybe it's connected. Yeah. There's a key. Where's the key? Does anyone have it? Do we leave it? The shade where the key broke when we left Lascaulua, correct? Uh, it deteriorated severely. Uh, but I believe you uh still have it. I need to double check. We, we kept the pieces, did we not? Mm-hmm. We would have. We don't throw anything away. <laughs> we don't. We have we put it in the bag. Especially nothing of that. The head. Put the drowness in the bag. <laughs> The key is like stuck in Adronis's ear in the back. Oh no! <laughs> it's a little bit of the key poking out of his mouth. Tarash Talk about unlocking enemies. They're enemies, what? Mm. I believe the key is in your bag, or what remains of it. Uh, y- yes, I do believe we have the pieces there. Though I would not call it a key anymore. <laughs> We should all find a key, a gate, and um, see if any ley lines are connected to these gates. It could be a possible moment that when we were at the gates, ley lines were all empowered at once. That's true. We know that um, in Skywatch, the ley line was strong enough to interrupt the barrier there. Hmm. Anyway, what's our next steps? We have a couple of options. We could try to go with Sakuwachi to the Sakoris Wastes, where they intend to go, but I don't know why they want to go there. We know that there is an Ayudara in Southern Arches, right? Do we debunk that? 
Uh, you yeah, did. What? You found mm. the the true seven arches in the forest. Forest. Mm. Debunked. Slightly further away from seven arches in the forest, but yes. In the, in the wild wood. Horrible little tourist trap. We could also try to go confront the professor. That would be it to him. We need a way to send a message longer than most sendings are available. What about a letter? It is a city that's probably somewhere to yes. send the mail. It would just take weeks, potentially. Mm. Mm. At any rate, perhaps we get more answers over the coming days from Sakawachi about why it is she and her party would like to go to Sarkoris. Have a little bit more of a dialogue and see if it is something that we want to endeavor to do as well. It could general, lead us to more answers. The general uh, info that you got from Sakawachi, which was, which was pretty brief, was that uh, Sakawachi had a, a vision about going there. I mean, she has a mark as well. Her visions are just as important as ours are piecing together this mystery, is it not? Has anyone spoken to her? As of late? Arcelia and I did for a, a little bit. We were in the middle seem, of discussing things. They seemed like they wanted our company. They were... They seemed... tired and... like they needed a break. May have been avoiding us. Ever since that incident on the boat, they haven't been the same. I would read the room first before inviting ourselves on a trip with them. At least give them that kind of respect. I, I do not want to travel with someone that looks at us as monsters. In any That's case, they, they know something we don't know and they're not telling us. Which is precisely why I said, why don't we speak with them? Yes. Before we assume that they're assuming the worst, that they think we're horrible humans mm. and everything in between. Yeah, I agree. That's what I am saying as well. We need to read okay. the room, see what they are actually feeling. Uh, don't directly ask questions, ask questions around the idea to get a good read on them. So, how about... We table this for now and we get some rest. It's very late. We are all very tired. We're going to end up talking in circles. I say we get rest. We wake up in the morning. We find ourselves some supplies. Sell some things. Reconvene with each other and with Sakawachi. And then go from there. Agreed. Lizard, do you still want me to work on this device? Are we still on that plan? Because I'm making a lot of progress. Uh, I think we've determined what we can. It will go as deep as the flesh goes, and oh. potentially even to the bone. Right, so like a punch hole or like a cookie cutter maybe? If I wished to die, that would be the way to choose, yes. All right. I'll put a pin in this one for now. <laughs> it could have other useful applications later. Um, of course. Before we go to bed, I would like to cast a uh, second level heal on Arashtok okay. to mend any wounds. Sure thing. <laughs> for two points of healing. Uh, I have slightly less wounds. <laughs> it's a little smooch on the forehead for Oh, bed. wait, two action. Never mind, darling. You're fully healed. <laughs> ah, two. Yes, good. I feel a lot better all of a sudden in the moments we just spoke about uh, this. Sorry. Yes, that's so strange. I, I'm so exhausted that my magics are 
very slightly <clears throat> delayed at the oh, moment. Yes. No, I feel better. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Karun, just in terms of like what you have here for materials and whatnot, mm-hmm. uh, we'll say that you uh, probably had to take some stuff apart um, to, to make what you have. Uh, I think your writing set is probably trashed. Uh, well, hang on a second, because I'm 99% sure that the dwarven cultists have left a, their own writing set in all of our little drawers in the hotel, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I will just be using those. That's pretty good. Uh, that is very hilarious, but no, <laughs> unfortunately not. There is, no, <laughs> there is no book of Iomi Day there for you. Huh. Man, that was a good try. <laughs> that was a good try. Also, I'm pretty sure you can't use a book the same way that you were trying to use it for oh. a rush right now. <laughs> Just a for bunch of paper cuts. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say your writing set. Um, get rid of five crossbow bolts. Okay. And I think that's fine. All right. Let's go with that. So yes. shall we sleep? Yes. Mm. And Malavik? Yeah. Thank you for all of your concern. Mm. I know this is where all of it comes from. Yes. Of course. I don't want to lose someone else. Important to me. Nor do we. All right. Let's get in beds, everyone. Before we disperse, I would like to go up to Malavik and give him a hug. Oh. What's this? Just my way of saying thank you. Oh. I'll hug back. Uh, feelings mutual. Mm-hmm. I would not be here if it wasn't for you. Uh, I could say the same for you guys. The Rashak burst me out of the belly of a beast. I would have been consumed. And then you would be putting back, um, well, maybe Malavik shit in your bag, along with the drug. Okay, bad, bad joke. I, uh, I'm not good at the, 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 the funny stuff, but I appreciate what you said, and I feel the same. Have a good night, Malavik. Mm. Good night. And try to have sweet dreams. <laughs> I will try. Mm. <sighs> so. And then I'll take my stuff and um, I'll actually walk out of the room. Okay. And how are the rooms broken up again? Uh, Karun and myself were in one, uh, Yara and Asili in the other, and Malavik was sleeping in the hallway outside of the rooms, I believe. Mm. But I believe he was meant to be in our room, with mm. Asili and Yara. When Malavik goes to leave the room, I'll grab the back of his collar. What? No, you're sleeping in here tonight. All right. I will take my place in the room. Very well. I return to Karun's in mine. Yes. Do you all go to sleep? No. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> well, I'm not really sleeping. I'm more just <sighs> by myself, you know? I've oh. set up a shrine to the Mosquito Queen at the base of my bed. <laughs> Neither one of us are really sleeping. We're just kind of panting at each other. I don't think I was panting, but you may if you wish. Recalling your memories in the kitchen. Just breathing. Okay. 
I don't know what Karun is doing, but I have a shrine set up, uh, so Karun may do their own thing. It's kind of cloaca. It's breathing <laughs> exercises. And before I rest, I do not know much of communing with gods or anything like that, but I will offer up a prayer to Phrasma, simply asking for more guidance and answers. I'm so sorry. In the background of your praying, Arcelia is just snoring loudly. That would make me smile more than anything. Karun goes into a strange trance. Rest. Uh, Arashtok sets up a shrine to the mosquito witch now arash talk what does that look like what would what i want you to describe this to me because i'm very curious uh, yes outside it's normally just a few of the mosquito uh, candles which have the opposite effect of what you would expect them to uh they do indeed collect them uh but uh the shrine itself <clears throat> is uh, Usually a half circle of the candles, uh, a small walk, rock that I uh, wet and put moss upon and burn half of it to represent the life giving and going in nature. Uh, with an, usually oils to create somewhat of an acrid scent of both death and life. There's blood in these candles, right? Yes. Usually my own. Mm. In small quantities, but still. Uh, Arashtak, please make a religion roll for me. Huh. A 20, not natural. Okay. Are you doing this... For a particular reason, Arashtak? Yes. Would you like to share that? Yes. Uh, I want to know if it was truly her I saw that drew me into the gate. Or if I was lied to. Mm. There's no response. Now that may speak differently to some others. Is that a no response as in I feel nothing, or no response as in a willful no response? I feel nothing. I leave the shrine lit, and you put it out after a couple of hours, and then sleep. Anybody doing anything else before sleep? Uh, I'm stripping down to my skibbies or whatever you call it. So I do not be um, uncomfortable or experience any uh, exhaustion in the morning. But uh, my sword is close, just in case. Hatchet will be right, I mean, right under my grip. Uh, I will let the... Uh, the ladies take the beds and I'll make a sort of comfortable fur. I'm going to take all my furs and split them up as best as I can. I'm shorter than normal because I gave some away. And um, I will sleep at the foot of the bed. On the floor. Oh, foot of one of the beds, I should say. I think there's two. Anybody else? All right. You all head to bed. You manage to fall asleep. I imagine for some of you it might be a little bit more difficult than others after what you saw, what you experienced. But eventually you all make your way to sleep. 
or rest, or what have you. And, um, a new day hits you outside. Agata is lit by a, a diffuse light. That sort of overcast glow that happens. As you each wake up hearing the sounds of the town outside. Oh, good morning, Yara. Melvick. Mm. Good morning, darlings. <clears throat> How about we leave a letter for them? The, um, the Sakawachi, Numa, Inigi, all of them, just letting them know perhaps we'll meet uh, at night. Hmm. Give them the day. Yes, give them the day to explore, do what they will, and us the day to... as well. All right, um... I'll reach into my bag and pull out some paper, some ink, and begin to scribble a quick letter, just letting them know we would like to... spend some time to speak with them later tonight. We'll be out on the town. And that we hope they are finding good rest. Very well. And uh, once we begin to leave the room, I will slip it under their door. And I will knock on Orostchok and uh, Karun's room. Are we ready? Hello. Um. Hello. What are you ready for? Um, breakfast, and then perhaps selling a few things and buying a few things. And then later in the evening we shall speak with them. Um, with Sakawachi and her people. Who? The, the humans. astronomer? Humans. Karun. Oh, the human. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The human. Uh... If I give you the things to sell and a list of things to buy, would you be able to do that for me, Yara? Yes, yes. Um, uh, Arsili and I both will probably make a very good team at uh, getting them to buy for a fair price. Oh, yes. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> ah. The merchants just, I don't know if that's... I, I'm, uh, you know, I don't know if that's my thing. I'll probably keep it at this level. Maybe. As I've watched, the merchants do enjoy the memories. Ah. Wait, did you say memories, not memories? Yes. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. I was... <clears throat> I was deep in memories when you said so. You were deep in memories? Uh, did you and Arcelia do what Arcelia likes to do for information and culture gathering? What is that? Uh, the uh, breeding. I prop up my titties. Oh, the mating ritual. I was not as so lucky. Ah, I did not know that was a luck-based thing. Breakfast! Uh, Shall we? Too. Lovely darlings! Oh. I will... Uh, have a breakfast later. I must continue to try to commune. Mm. You seem bothered. What is up? Uh, Are you alright? No. No. I've never been directly. Never really been said no so directly. With a straight. I do not face. wish to lie. Lying. Oh is no! I theory. appreciate it. I just. And typically, when people say no, there's some kind of expression, but I keep forgetting that your face is stiff. Um, Would you like to be alone? Uh, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll come downstairs with you. Would you like for me to bring you some uh, something to eat? I have uh, nutrition. Thank you. All right. All right. So just um, let us know what it is you'd like, and here, I'll open up my bag of holding. Uh, Anything you'd like to sell? Yes, and I pull out a note and write it and hand it to you of the things that I would require if possible. Mm. You know what's really delicious when you're not feeling well? Mushrooms. Would you like mushrooms? 
Oh, uh, no, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. I was hoping that after breakfast, after hitting the shops, that perhaps we might seek out a library somewhere around here. <gasps> yes, that'd be wonderful. So, if we aren't back shortly, I imagine you can meet us wherever one might be. I can attempt to look for a library when I am done. Hmm. Very good. And I begin to march down the stairs. I follow. Oh, well. I'm going to go pick up a writing set. I uh, had an accident with mine. <clears throat> um, I'll slowly I'll be the last one to walk out of the room, but I'll kind of look back at her as I'm slowly closing the door and uh, close it to a crack, and I'll just be like... You uh, may go if you wish. I'm not here. I'm downstairs. Uh, I did not prepare invisibility today. And you can see me. Y yes, the door is still open. Oh, okay. You sure you're all right? I told you no. That's right. You're not all right. If you need me, just, um... Uh, Malavik. Yeah. Your actions are your own, not a god's. So are our failings. Do not blame an unseen being for what you have done. It is unjust to yourself. Enjoy Thank your you. breakfast. Thank you. That was the most emotion I've ever gotten out of you. I deeply appreciate that. And also, you are a key part of our group. We will see. I know. I'll be watching you. I close the door and I walk downstairs to join the others. I think we will follow our the larger group for now. as you all head down for uh, some breakfast. Uh, as I'm putting in a order of food for the table, I will linger at the bar side to um, try to catch any rumors that I can. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. I'll just be at a table. Well, finding a table with, I guess, Yara. <laughs> um, Yara. I'm concerned. What troubles you? I don't think you know, but I have this suspicion that a rush shock's not okay. He complimented what? me. He told me some advice, something that, that had meaning, empathy. Sometimes he drops little nuggets of kindness and wisdom. But I can't tell if he's happy or not half the time because when he smiles, it's just teeth. <laughs> he makes this horrible sound like he's gagging. I'm gonna go get that writing set. I'll see you later. Oh. Right? Hey, would you Are like you company? Sure you don't you? Want... No, no, no. I'm fine. You, I got it. Oh, no. Please don't harass any, you know. Can't hear you. Bye. Hmm. Well. At any rate, I think that Rostock very much so needed a little bit of alone time and solace. Mm. So we can check on him soon. He knows that we are there for them, and that is the most that friends can do for each other. If mm. said friend would like space. Something's different. But I'll take your word. We will check on him. Mm. But for now, I think it will brighten his day if we get this done. I say tapping the piece of paper that he handed me with all of the things that he wanted. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Maybe a few toys for him will make him smile. Hmm? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> so, no, uh, just out of curiosity, um, uh, Arcelia, uh, Yara, and Malavik, you're all getting breakfast? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, I am currently at the bar. I am not at the table. Sure. Uh, probably for food and drinks, uh, let's say eight silver. All right. I'll go ahead and I shall fund that. Hmm. <laughs> Is Ocelia not sat down yet? I say peering over at her at the bar. I um. have started talking to someone at the bar who appears to be well dressed. And I am uh, engaging in pleasant conversation. I would like to essentially make a positive influence on in our presence here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of positive talk about your group in general. Probably, like, sitting down, you have, like, an easy conversation, somebody that's hanging on your every word, etc. It's, uh, there's lots of chatter and probably people, like, smiling and waving and stuff as you sit and have breakfast. There's a lot of people in here for breakfast. This is unnerving, is it not? This is an inn as well. This isn't, like... Uh, mm-hmm. a, f- a feast hall or anything? A tavern, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not this a hot spot. Yeah. Um, I believe that we may be helping the business here. <sighs> Maybe we should get a discount on the room as a result. <laughs> mm. Not used to all this positive staring, at least that's what I'm calling it. Mm. It's, it's sort of like me to stare at that. Sorry I took so long. Um, our food should be out here in a bit. Where did Karun go? Oh, um, probably to go harass dwarves. <laughs> she scurried off to go replace her writing set, apparently. <laughs> All right. So. Mm. All right, um, good. Now, I couldn't find any work at the bar. Doesn't seem like anyone really has anything for us, but we are in pleasant company. It seems that there has been no end to the rumors of our, uh, trial by ooze <sighs> I was just talking to Malefic about how it is quite unnerving having all of these people here staring at us well at least uh, they are pleasant mm. alright so um, what do we think first order of business once we have breakfast we try and figure out where to sell the paintings? Hmm. Sell the paintings, find a library. Hmm. I want to see if there's any, if we have anything else to sell. Have we yes. sold the thing? I have gems, I've got extra gear that we don't particularly hmm. need. Good. Yeah. I heard this place is known for having some Decent shops, but uh, yeah, on the expensive side, it's a good thing that we had a discount, yeah? Mm-hmm, indeed. Well, which probably make things normal, if there is a normal. Yes, we shall see. I would see. like to find more protective gear. I've been taking a lot of shots lately. Mm. Very well. So you'd like to look for armor, or would you like to look for something like a mm. rune or some sort? Maybe runes. I'm not just particularly fond of the sorcery, but being able to call an axe back at my will has been quite nice. I want to see what else they can do. I would like to buy more paper. I'm beginning to run out of ink. Hmm. Yes, I'd like to see if uh, there are any supplies that might be beneficial. Um, Rostock has quite a few things on the list as well, including tattoo recipes. Hmm. 
Interesting. Perhaps, perhaps he's looking to become an amateur tattooist, hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd let him stab me with a needle repeatedly. It's only oh. fair. It would be an honor to be marked by a rush talk mm. by any of you. Oh. It is uh, a thing of importance among my people. You wear your skin proudly in all the things that it remembers. Mm. Mm. Excellent. So, does it look like they're almost done with breakfast? Um, What's taking them so long? We can assume that you would have, you know, you'd be served. I mean, I imagine, Arcelia, if you went up to, like, order, you'd probably return with it. Hmm. You probably don't have a huge selection of breakfast. It's probably, like, uh, bacon, eggs, sausage. Uh, they probably have some bread. Probably have some potatoes. Yeah, they will eat whatever is brought in, uh... We'll stand up and stretch. <sighs> I'm going to get some fresh air. I'll wait outside for you both. Excellent. All right. After we finish eating, I will stand up. I'm going to look for Karun. Do you want to join me? Uh, certainly. Yes. All right. Karun. Karun. Karun is 100% already in a store accosting someone. <laughs> yeah. um, you will have I... to look harder than that. <laughs> Karun's not here. I think we can assume that she's already gone off. Do... So she's actually more than likely. So she's not in the back fucking. I thought she would be oh, in the kitchen. Know. Yes, right. I was actually going to okay. make a joke with yep. the sausage and the, but I didn't. Um, anyway. Oh, I'm proud of you for. <laughs> oh, should I just... <laughs> Hold on. I, I'll reach over to someone's table where they have an uneaten sausage. Sorry. And I'll give them, like, a silver. Uh, I'll wiggle the sausage around. Writing hey. utensil. <laughs> uh <-huh>, yeah. <laughs> and I'll walk away eating the sausage. Oh. Oh, oh, that sausage. doesn't happen to get writing utensils regularly near you, Arcelia. <laughs> Good thing I don't have one of those. I mean, what? Let's go to the store! <clears throat> I follow you outside. Arash talk. Let's yes. rejoin you. What's going on in the room, Arash talk? I've reset up the shrine and have added to it. Uh, mostly just uh, made it larger. Taken some of the infinite rations, I put infinite in quotes, uh, but from the rations, eh, what is that called? Anyway, the, the endless rations bag, uh, and taken out a number of pieces of the jerky, and have done the same thing, uh, burning some of those, as well as leaving some untouched. Uh, I've tried to gather more insects than just mosquitoes, and give, trying to give some of the uh, unburnt jerky to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not expecting any response today, as I got none before, and don't attempt. I, I try to commune, yes, but I know that the gods can be fickle in asking too many times over and over is unwise. Please but, make a religion. Roll for mm -hmm. I will re-roll that with the hero point as it is a 13. <sighs> 28. Okay. You lay everything out. The candles begin to burn that sort of um, metallic blood smell is happening. Iron as the candles have this uh, effect summoning these local insects around.
The insects grow thicker, crawling from all places, flying in from sills around this inn, maybe even from outside. They thicken like a a cloud around you. Feel them landing on your scales, crawling across your body. They're agitated, Arashtok. The blood that pools at the bottom of the candles ripples. Something is wrong. And... You can hear the buzzing intensify. Gets loud. It's difficult to focus. There is a presence here. can feel something watching. You feel displeasure, agitation, anger. Several of the insects bite you. this kind of communion before. But you sense the mosquito witch is very upset. With me or something else? Does it feel directed? I'm not sure. that the blood is mostly gone. The insects have consumed it. Candles are burned down to almost nothing, even though it's only been a few minutes. Insects scurry away, glutted on blood. Are there any unfed? I'm sure there are some. There's so many, you can't even count them all. I would definitely take out my dagger and make a small incision on the back of my hand and pour it at the base of where the candles were. I'll take whatever damage is necessary. Um, do you have a dagger item? I do. Go ahead and, go ahead and roll that and let's see what the damage is. Okay. Six maximum. Six piercing damage. <laughs> Blood leaks out. And as it pours there, the insects quickly consume it. It's gone in a harsh cloud swarming around the blood. I ask again, my patron, what is wrong? As you stare at the blood, you see the insects consuming it. 
You sense this anger, this agitation, this presence is watching and following what you do. Blood is gone. More blood, more sacrifices will be needed. I will continue them as needed. I will reopen the wound as needed. Very well. Go ahead and make another dagger roll. <laughs> another four damage. Blood. <laughs> Pours out. Barash talking. There's seemingly no end to these insects consuming your blood. You get the feeling that you are not enough. I will stab a third time. This is a six. brutal cut. Your hand maybe shakes a little bit when you do it. Stab yourself with the dagger. What must I do? Make another religion check. I think Arash talk. Your blood is not enough. Ah. I have something. I go into my bag of holding quickly and pull out the five preserved Drake stakes have been sitting there since we took them out of the Drake they should be bloody and fresh still mm. and lay those out at the shrine the mosquitoes and insects begin to work on these stakes supping on the blood eating what they can seemingly insatiable as you watch this Arash talk you begin to feel Strange hunger. How has the mosquito witch been described to you in the past? Compared to what I've seen before, she is described as a destroyer, an ender of life, one that drains the vitality of the land. I know that is not true, but that is how she is normally described. A pestilence. Famine. What you see here now, you maybe have never seen before in your supplication. I think you're starting to see some evidence of those things. There's a hunger here. There's a... 
desire for blood. It seems to be all you can understand about what's happening right now. I have only focused on the life aspect of uh, this as track. There are two sides to the coin and I have only looked at one. That may be where my ignorance has lied. Hmm. Is there anything else I sense to give to her? Here in this moment? I don't think so. You do feel that presence, so just just out of reach. <sighs> I think for a moment. And it's only a passing moment, but I do not act on it. But I do think of Adronus's head with me. I stab myself one more time. Not to... Not to give to the insects and to feed them, but to show that I am willing to give more. You do so, damaging yourself for another three piercing damage. And I will sit in the presence of the insects until they leave. When the blood is gone, the insects leave. Before, as they are flying out, the next thing we slay will be yours. I will not leave until you have had your fill. I apologize for not giving as much as I could. That is my failing. I see why I have been failing. And I prostrate myself and stay there for hmm, probably until the party will return. Okay. Returning to our group of shoppers, I should say. Uh, Arcelia, Yara, Malavik. Um, are you searching for Karun, or did you kind of give up after not seeing Karun in the inn? Assuming that Karun was literally talking about writing utensils, I think we should try to find her. That way we can sync up. It'll be more effective if we shop together. Yes, of course. Um, perhaps a general store of some sort? Um, let's see. And I'll pull out a list of shops that I wrote down in our endeavours. Um, we have many options. Many, many options. Um, let's see here. There's the uh, Becker's General Store. Borden Anvil, Arcane Emporium, Enchanted Menagerie, Alchemist Retreat, Bookworm's Haven, Relic Emporium, Sooth's Sacred Relics, and Steel Flame Armory. So, probably Becca's first, yes? I do need some supplies there anyway, so. Mm. Good as any. Yes. Yes, I will follow. Is there anything that you want, Malavik, while we're out? Uh, yes, I was looking for. Yeah, uh, something for armor, maybe. Mm. 
rune or uh, yeah, maybe a rune. Yes. Excellent. Yes, I believe uh, a Rostrak wanted one as well, so we shall definitely have to find some. Sounds good. Should probably Excellent. make our way and then finally get rid of all this extra stuff that we have. Okay. So, who would like to make a diplomacy check? A uh, diplomat, perhaps? <laughs> Now, might I argue that I would be assisting her? Sure. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not. I'll probably make it worse. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and watch. All right. Diplomacy. 26. I will re-roll that 16 into a 28. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we don't have to role play out uh, every little bit of haggling and shopping. Um, I think, uh, I think that would take a very long time. Um, In general, I will make introduction as we enter into the various shops. And it is no, no subtlety to my companions that I name drop for ourselves and the fact that we've had business with the, uh, officials here and that you might have heard of us, um, some say we chosen or something you know troll oh, yeah. my hair sort of a big deal i'll pull out the paintings and be like "Ooh, ah like the price is right for us look how excellent and magnificent we are and oh. i am not shy to break out my notebook and show the various places we've been and the origin of all these things i'm talking it up i'm making it an adventure a story we are not just selling here we are creating an experience mm. Most assuredly. Uh, absolutely. You are I'm just gone. in the background trying on things that don't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, like, gets stuck on your horns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Um, okay. Uh, the, um, uh, the general, uh, reception to, to you joining the stores, there's, like, oh, yeah, there are, it's like it's like the scene in Pretty Woman, you know, like after she dulls herself up the second time and goes out. It's that change, um, and you uh, you find them like much more res- uh, receptive in general, and uh, you you got a twenty-seven. Let's see. Um. So, for purchasing, you will get uh, 15% off of normal price. So, don't worry about that 150% markup. You're getting 15% off of normal price uh, Mm -hmm. to buy. And you are selling at 60%. Okay. Uh, so, just for generalness, uh, I will be selling my cloak of gnawing leaves, and uh, I pick up a pair of pretty little glasses. I'll also make a few smaller purchases, but I will try to do them out of eye shot of my friends. And for the sake of um, our sanity, we have 15 paintings. Uh, how much would we be able to get for them? Your 15 paintings. You are unable to find anyone that will purchase them. You hear a scream from the distance. (laughs) (laughs) What do you mean you won't buy them? They're wonderful! Oh. We should have sold them and lost Gilu or something. Might we inquire to see if they know of anyone who might purchase such a thing? Yeah. Um, there's rumors of uh, a patron that has been asking around about all of you. Ah, are we able to ascertain a name or? Um, I will take another diplomacy check. 
Or intimidation, depending on how you're doing it. Oh, um, I've got something for this. Um, I've got Eyes of the City, if that helps at all. Like oh, I guess we need the name first. JK. <laughs> ah, 28 Diplomacy. I feel like Arcelia's should be a, a different... I'm rerouting that! <laughs> should we rename Eyes of the City to something else? Alright, I'll do that right now. Uh, okay. A 28 and a 22. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. You're able to get a name here. Uh. This person that is seemingly interested is. Uh. A half elf that goes by the name of Regimina Goldleaf. Ooh, sounds rich. I like patrons. And they are uh, often found in, um, there is a, uh, mm, sorry, let me find this. Um, they are often found uh, there is, um, there's no library in town. However, uh, there are, uh, there's a bookstore, there is a, uh, and there is an archive. And you can usually find Regimina Goldleaf in said archive, according to, uh, the proprietor of the current establishment that you are in. Uh, the proprietor's name is Milo Meadowbrook. Thank you kindly, Milo, for all of that information. We will... Do our best, and oh, thank you for your patronage. You are uh, most welcome. You can see, like glancing, trying really hard not to glance. I will lean up against mm -hmm. the table. <clears throat> Do you happen to know anything about Regimina? You know, like a favorite snack or favorite book, any quirky interests or hobbies. Regimina, uh, 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 has always been very interested in uh, uh, musical uh, pursuits of sorts. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Have a nice day. I, just a, a, a bit, a bit of a, a warning. Yes. Uh, Regimina is a uh, rather um, well. Uh, uh, they seem a little. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. No, please continue. I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to speak badly about anyone, you understand? Oh, um, don't think of it as speaking badly. Think of it as helping out a friend from making an accidental blunder. Uh, Regimina has a certain. Uh, They are uh, very uh, clingy. Hmm. Enthusiastic. Yes. 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 That's that's fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, you're you're doubly you're welcome. Mm. Uh, once we head outside. Yara, um, the potential patron seems to have an inclination towards musical arts. Perhaps you might want to offer to play something. Oh, well, I have been practicing. Sure, certainly. Um, it is quite possible that they might come off overly enthusiastic, though. We might have trouble shaking them once we meet them. Oh. 
We really could use money from these paintings, though, could we not? Hmm. I think it shouldn't be a problem, but we should expect that it might cut into more time than we originally anticipated. Well, perhaps we discuss with Sir Rostock and um, Karun mm. before making any sort of movement towards that, but I think yes. he'll probably be of the mind of sell the shit and go see that person. I don't think it will hurt to go together. Mm. Let's just deal with the rest of the items and yes, then check indeed. back in. Yes, I've gotten most of it sold and um, there are a few things that we've been able to purchase. You'll probably uh, walk into one of these shops and see Karun there. It's going to be um, uh, an alchemy supply place, and I can't actually find my list of that I gave you of these shops. Um, the Alchemist's Retreat. Yes, there you go. Oh, um, is that Karun? Hmm. Yes. Oh. Uh, I will come back to you. One minute. What are you doing here? <gasps> what, what do you mean? What's always happening? I was in the middle of making a big deal with this horrible little shopkeeper. We, we can wait outside. He was right. He was on the hook. I was about to get a whole lot of free things from him. Huh? Do you like it? Do you like Move away, then? No, no, it's fine. These are my friends. Uh, maybe you know them. Oh, yes, they are the, uh, yes, uh, the, 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 uh, the chosen ones. That's right. Uh, welcome, welcome. Have you, uh, did you come in to purchase something? Um, yes, yes, I believe. Karun, were you looking to, to buy something here? Yes, I would like all of your, um, um, ingre not ingredients, um, recipes, whatever you call them, for the most absolutely diabolical bombs that you can muster, and also a writing set. Yes, we find you everything worked out. You are such a peach. Thank you. Um, come on, what did, uh, do you need? Do you want? Do you want like Arcelia to work her magic or something? I don't know. I think it's working. Look, he's he's putting everything together. <laughs> Perhaps that was your magic, though. Just charm. Natural charm. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Karun, why are you covering your ears? I thought you were proud to be an elf. No, it's not Karun, it's... It's Janet. No, right. it's... Uh, I, I haven't... I, I oh. haven't gave him a new name. It's oh. H Hamthwillen uh, Buttersworth. I'm confused. It's a human name. Is she doing the thing that she used to do in the shadows, where she was human. acting as she was something when she was not? No, no, no I am, I am I, human. Wink. I, but I thought you hated humans. Shh. <laughs> it's very funny. He is a funny man. <clears throat> you said how you didn't like how they smell and that they were atrocious, and that you cannot remember names. I remember this vividly. I lie. <laughs> Shopkeeper's like looking over his shoulder, a little confused. Still putting together stuff for shoppers. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I'll just go and start swishing around things that I'm not supposed to touch. Mm. Yeah. We see a lot of Malavik like swirling potions and things mm -hmm. around and there's all kinds of uh little probably i think in the background 
there's like a clear thing on the shelf that says do not shake, you know? <laughs> and Alvik is like <laughs> shaking. There's like little w- wisps of the smoke. Se- the se- yeah. sediment at the bottom yeah. is all poofy now. Yeah. It's a completely different color. Yep. There's ice forming on the outside of the glass. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you, shopkeeper, for um, this these recipes for bombs? For diabolical bombs. So uh, the shopkeep uh, has all of the common stuff. Uh, we've got a list in the channel uh, uh-huh. that we do not have to go through right now. Um, all right. But, uh, Suffice it to say, I will purchase the most diabolical and terrifying bomb recipes that I can find. Sure. And also a writing set, because I broke mine. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, the writing set's no problem. Uh, and as far as uh, recipes and ingredients and stuff... This is a pretty decent place to find a lot of stuff. Good. Then we don't have to go through the list, but I will pick one maybe later so we can continue. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we there's a giant I can't make them right now yeah. anyway. It's there's... not the in the middle of the day. Yeah, there's a giant list of stuff that's available in town here. This is a metropolis. This is a city level 6 city um so uh basically anything that is uh common uh level six and below is available to you um at uh at these places and there was also i gave you a list of some uncommon uh items as well wonderful you've been very helpful um what was your name again Uh, this is the uh, third time i've told you uh it's it's uh, Theodore. Theodore. Sure. You have been very helpful. I was never here. Are they um, all right? No. I just say no, just like a Rostock told me no earlier, straight face direct. No. Ooh, this one sparkles. Uh, don't, don't shake that. Uh, please. Don't shake it. No. Don't shake it. Uh, don't shake that. There's an explosion. <laughs> uh, basically, <laughs> oh, no. the cork that is in the bottle explodes, and just this uh, purple and green mist is like crawling out of the, uh, out of the bottle. Uh, you can see that Malavik, um, uh, I forget what the, what's, what's the, uh, what's the Indian holiday where they throw color, uh, at each other? Oh, oh yeah. The pigments? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, Malavik yeah. looks like he just got hit in the face by a, a big batch of pigment. Don't turn around slowly be like, I, I, I didn't shake it too much. I'm put it back. It'll wash off in a few hours. <sighs> Anyway, let's I'd like go. to leave now. We are, we are done here. <laughs> Thank you, Theodore. It's Theodore. Uh, you have to pay for that. Oh, they were All right, I walked up the door. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you have to pay it, for that. It, it's all right. I've got it. And I'll pull out my coin pouch and pay for it. Again. <laughs> Um, roll me. <laughs> Let's see. Let's have some fun with this one. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, by the way, Malavik, you can have a hero point. Um, no. uh, <laughs> it cost me. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see here. I'll pass it over to our Cecilia. Thanks. <laughs> That's so funny. I was like, damn, I'm paying for your hero point. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I felt it in the bond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm actually a cat. I have three, so you can have it. It's fine. Oh. Malvik will pay me back in a different way later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no. Bro, don't tell me he hit us with 100. 20 gold. Uh, roll me a D15, please. D15? Oh, no. Huh? Seven. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was a potion of uh, Eagle's Splendor. I actually have one myself. It's right here. Keep that oh, I wonder me. who made that really cool tag on it, huh? <laughs> I should yes. get a discount. <laughs> Looks exactly what happened when I shook it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a hundred gold potion. I look into no. my gold pouch. Um, so I don't have a hundred gold, but uh, I'll walk back in and um. <laughs> What's taking so long? Why we haven't left yet? Your friend is paying for the potion that you ruined. Oh, I can pay for it. How much is it? With your discount, uh, one hundred gold yeah. pieces. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I I can pay with um uh, labor. Hey, you have something? I can I can move stuff around. I can stay here all day and help you. All those boxes over there seem mighty heavy. I actually have a few ingredients from different planes of existence. No, no. You're always covering for me. I, it what was does my... What potion do, exactly? I, w- I, w- I would like to point out, uh, Malavik uh, looks a little different. Uh, he looks very uh, poised and, like, oh. confident and sort of... Um, ah. Astute. Interesting. Oh. Do, do not um, do not worry about the babble that's inside your purse or those. Is a plus four to your charisma. Hey, oh. hey, Aldo, if you teach me to make this potion for I'll you, I'll expend taking off. every resource in my body to replenish your supply and uh, yeah. then some. I your start body... sweating and blushing. Um... So you, your body is not worth it, and I'll start. I'm um, buckling my armor and uh, taking off my shirt and say, I can <clears throat> do wonders for you in this shop. Point me in a direction and I will fix it for you. I notice there's cracks all through these walls here. Air coming through there will probably make your potions expire faster. I can prepare those for you. Um, and I will check with my, uh, my lackey, my underling, Karun. Come here. We have work to do. Roll me a charisma check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be plus, it. plus so four. Yeah. So okay. uh, yeah, you have a you have a plus four to this. Okay, I'm reroll. <laughs> okay. I have one cur- <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's make or break. Yeah, it's fifteen to a fifteen. Uh, and I, I win. Come here, chop chop. All right, I am here as well. Right, we have two workers now, and I believe that you will get more work done, which means more profit for you. That means a hundred dollar potion. It's nothing compared to the more sales you'll make in the next uh, few hours or so if we get this done for you, good sir. What? I could be very convincing, and I'll just lean in. And I smile, but I'll smile with a terrible smile. Uh, you think it's terrible. Everybody else mm. sees like the ting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. little like each tooth, like mm. little shiny. Yeah. There's this certain noble air about Malavik now. Mm. You know, they say my bloodline goes traces way back in ancient <laughs> times. I appreciate the offer, but I'll take it. Have you ever seen someone instead. make fireballs with their mouths? I can do that. He can tie a fireball in a knot with his tongue. Actually, I, I can. Uh... <laughs> this one's free. <laughs> I don't know what that is. If you bottle it up, it could be whatever you want. 
Nobody knows what it is, honestly. <laughs> and I... is a ball of fire? <laughs> no. Containable? No, no, it's not. Uh, oh, <clears throat> that was breakfast. I can do it. I promise. I'm still learning. you show me how to make this potion, I will replenish your supply. No, oh. I will double it. Oh, well, there um. you go. See, my lackey knows how to make quite the businesswoman, you know. Only a <clears throat> human would Triplet. know how to do things like that. Triplet? What is the total number of potions you require? Three. Three? Oh, yes. You have a good deal. deal. All right, then. What? Now, this one's speaking sense. I'll, I'll do that meme I will where I just, say, however, I'll stand up and look him up and down like... I will say, however, your hair looks spectacular. Thank you. I know. I was talking to him years as... Yes. You've got it covered, haven't you? This is a little choppy right now from all of the... Never mind. Quickly to it. Get to work. I'll, I'll supervise and make sure it's done correctly. All right. Well, uh, I'll hold you to it then. Three potions. Uh, shall you get to work now? Of course. Show me to your workspace. All right. Uh, just this way. Karin follows. Mm -hmm. Why are you all looking at me funny? I don't like the disdain upon your face there. And... The wiggling of your brow seems to be questioning my motives, Yara. I look over at Ocelia. I am aghast. I'm blushing and smiling. Uh, your pheromones say something different. What? Are you, are you crushing on me? No. <sighs> Arcelia. Mm, yes. Is there something what? going on with your feelings? You know, we should uh, we should it's train like together sometime. You know, you're strong. I'm strong. We could be stronger mm. together. You know, mm, bit yes. of uh, wrestling. Yes, yes. Application to the finest could lead to many fond things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to point out to Teodore that anything I create uh, via quick alchemy. Would be even more powerful. Quick alchemy is generally just for you. <laughs> the the uh, alchemical oh. stuff that you create is meant to be used like right away. It spoils I otherwise. See. Yeah. All right. Those are those are like the into daily preparations again. How do I create a potion without either doing you quick use alchemy or daily? Oh. I have four left from today, so I just give him three, and then... Uh, well, yeah, you're gonna have to take some time to create the potions. This isn't the same thing as Quick Alchemy. Quick Alchemy is a, is sort of, uh, you know, your specialty. That's a thing that you can do almost instantaneously. Um, so, I have this other thing called Field Discovery, which, when using Advanced Alchemy to make bombs during your daily preparation, you can use a batch of reagents to create any three bombs instead of just two for the same bombs. bomb. Well, but Malvik opened it and it bombed all over his face. Because he shook it. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> so technically, in the most charitable of senses, just, it cameras could be on me. I'm just mm, mm. legally, perhaps, as a bomb. Yeah. Karun invents a new it, line. Would you take it onto Galarian TSA? <laughs> Comes with instructions. Shake vigorously. Uh, not so much, Karun. I'm sorry. All uh, right. Yeah. This is not on the fly. This is this is you have to properly brew this so that other people can consume it, not just you. Very well. I will use three of my reagents out of the four. What remaining. I will say I, is oh, you yes. could try to fool him if you would like. No. I won't. I won't try to fool him. Okay. I oh. trust Teodore with it's my a life. Human, though. He has promised me greatness in the form of terrible and diabolical bombs. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you can make a crafting check, though. We can see how long this will take. Good. 26. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll probably take you, like, the rest of the day. 
that's fine. I will be here. You may continue. I will be here uh, with my accomplice um, friend. Theodore. You do not need me to supervise your workings of the <clears throat> oceans. No, no, of course not. No. Uh, well, I will be watching from a distance. If something goes wrong, just go, <sighs> and I will come running. Very well. Farewell. <sighs> and I, um, put a hand behind my back and walk out the door like it owes me money. Sure. Come along, ladies. The town awaits. What the f- As I go out the door. Malavik swishes his cloak <laughs> like as he walks out, you know, as he turns. Whoosh. You there! Staring is not free! Pay me! <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. What do you do for the rest of the day aside from selling these things? Well, I believe we wanted to reconvene with Arash Talk since um, Karun uh, wished to do their own thing, um, as we wanted to discuss perhaps meeting with the patron. Hmm. As we make our way back towards the inn, uh, you will see me purchase things here and there. It looks like junk for the most part. Uh, the individual pieces don't really make much sense, but given what I wear, it seems pretty standard. And, By the um, way, about five minutes after you leave the shop, Malavik doesn't look so sp- splendor for us anymore. Uh, Onward to... Th- <coughs> <coughs> uh, you all right? My, headache, my brain hurts so bad. Uh, what was that? What was what? All I remember is shaking a, a potion. I really wasn't shaking it. I was just seeing pretty colors and then it exploded and I walked outside and then I lost some kind of, uh, I don't know. I felt like I was in a dream. I was buying stuff. I, I don't even know anymore. Why are you looking at me funny? I'm... Um- I look between the two of them as if I've seen a ghost. Like, like I'm just. just... Arcelia, oh, back me up here. It was. Con- confidence is very nice. Yes. Oh, can I get two of those? Yes, the silver one and the blue one. I need to work on my confidence. Oh. Hmm. I think I need to not touch things anymore. Why is my hair done this? Start right. unbraiding my hair. <laughs> uh, uh, I've got what I would need it here. Should we make our way back to the inn now? Um, mm-hmm. Did we find any runes of any sort in the city? Uh, yes, I um, believe that salesperson was selling them. Did you want to purchase one? Um, this rune here says it uh, helps with uh, taking damage. Um, I think it would be good if I'm in the front lines. Certainly. Oh, look at that. Do you see that mask there? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. Is there something there? I think it fits you quite nicely. Mm. Mm. Yes. You like the colors. Yes, I'm going to take this one. Would it be extra to put the rune on, um... On, 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 um, I guess it goes on armor. Well... You, you there, sir, shopkeeper. We could also have Karun put it on for you. Mm, Karun can put it on. Oh. Hmm. Um... Where is she? She will be joining us later today. Mm-hmm. Ah, another kitchen incident. Hmm, I see. All right. Do you Sorry. not remember? Never mind. What? What? 
She'll join us later. I'll fill you in. Oh, yes, Karoons. The, no, I'm sorry, the name was... What did you call it, Janet? Uh... She said some other name, but... Oh. It just was so horrific that I refused to repeat it. Oh. It's been acting funny lately. All right. I will take this rune back and, um... I owe you, I owe some money, so... How much is it? And I'll work the dealings later. All right. Yes, I'm worried about Arashtok. Let's get back early. When we get back towards the end, I will knock on the door. Arashtok? Yes. Can we come in? Hmm. Uh... Allow me to, uh, tidy up. Why don't you join us in the other room when you're ready, then? Yes. All right. And I will lead us to our room, for the three of us. I picked up a little something special, but I wanted to wait for a rush talk to show it off. Oh, very exciting. Hmm. Mm. Picked up a recipe for rash talk here. To be quite interesting. Y yes, you have returned. Indeed. Um, we were unable to sell the paintings, though. Uh, but I did get your recipe, and I have a uh, perception check. From one of you, please. No Ross shock. Oh, Selena, you want to do it? Ooh, twenty-seven. Um, Ross talk. Are you bandaged up? Yes, I have put some like basic bandaging over my uh, wounds, but they're probably very stained. Mm. Yeah, you see some bloody bandages on Ross talk's hands. I cut off Yara. Are you okay? What happened? Mm, of what? Your hands. Ah, I was communing. Um. I am all right. Um, I do not mean to pry, but earlier when you told me no was very convincing. What you just said was not. I mean, yes, I have wounds, but I have more answers for myself now. Oh, Rashtak, would you like me to take a look at those, darling? No. I need the reminder for a bit. Right. It is yeah. fine. Mm. You know that you can talk to us if you need to, right? I do not know if you wish for the conversation that I have. Mm. What is that? I will sit up tall. You know, we talked about this, Arashtag. Yes, we yeah. have. Trust. Uh, Come on, spill it out. How can we help you? Uh, very well. I have displeased my patron. How? I, I have told you of her, yes. The Mosquito Witch. I indeed, yes. I... I have not focused on all of her aspects. I told you she is of life and rebirth. There can be no rebirth without death. Mm. I have... 
I have focused too much on the life aspect. She has not fed enough. I may have to do some things after we have had encounters that will not sit well with you, Yara especially. I do not know if you want me with you anymore. Uh, nonsense. Jeez. I have eaten the hearts of dragons. <laughs> Clearly it'll be fine, Russia. What did you need? Pig, pig's blood, what is it? She was not satisfied with Drake meat. Oh. What would she be satisfied with? I hold up my hand. Oh. I said you may not be pleased. This was not enough. This was not enough. She is not evil. But as I said, she is not good. She is... balanced. I have mm. been imbalanced. Mm. I think I have shown mercy where I should not have. I see. The Lady of the Graves is also one of balance. Life, death, rebirth. I, um, will do my utmost to protect you. And I am sure exactly what sacrifices it is that she, your mosquito witch, requires. Um, but I believe protecting you and the others will be as far as I go, if that is all right. I do not deny you your uh, moral leanings. Protection is not undesired. Hey. The last task may be the next one that is ambiguous morally. You allow me to take and dedicate to her. My people have been through a lot, and I can't speak for the others here, or of gods and their worship, but a lot of terrible things happen in war, and prices need to be paid, so that much I understand. I think for me, I can overlook some things, but it should only become of those who are not innocent. And from a place of saving waste, if that makes sense. Where there will be no waste. I think this sort of thing can get out of hand if it's not under control. So long as you have it under control, Rashtok, I trust you. That was my problem. I was controlling it t too much for the sake of you all. I know you are not terribly keen on <sighs> killing if unnecessary, but death is a necessary part of life. I think we have doled out too much life for her to be pleased with me and the balance she asks for. Hmm. I think that is why I have failed so often. She may have been wanting death one way or another. I... So 
suppose I want to know how you feel about it, Arashtok. Putting her aside, her needs and wants aside. What do you want? I want the knowledge that was promised to me. I do not wish for any of your passings. I make that very clear. You are my treasured companions. But if I am honest, others around her, I have no feelings one way or another. And you wish to remain in this pact with this mosquito thing? Yes. Why? Why do you serve? Knowledge. Yeah. At Is my that lowest, it? she was the only one to come to me. Hmm. She gave me purpose and life and let me see the balance after I saw the scales tipping in only one direction. I can relate. I, I will help you. You gotta do what you gotta do. It is nothing in malice. It is nothing of a desire for suffering. It is the cycle of life. Rebirth, death, rot, decay, growth, nourishment. And there are some evils that should be purged in order to facilitate the greater good. Yes. But... Bear in mind that the good died too. Mm. Mm. That is true. How often does she need to feed? I do not think it is a satiable hunger. Life and death happen no matter what. Mm. It is more that I have just been Unbalanced. <laughs> Does she need to take from the dead or the alive? When I think of a mosquito, it takes from something that pumps warm blood through his veins. That is correct. Something oh. fresh may not be an issue. Well, if we do not encounter, to me, it seems like the human variety or a species close to human, that is. You might be in trouble to where you have to take uh, from around you. I do not think that will be an issue, but mm. I may need to take time after any unfortunate encounters we deal with. Can we set a precedent that if there is discomfort that we speak of it as a group? Can we share those thoughts freely, should a situation arise? I would most definitely wish to know. As I said, I wish nothing but prosperity to you all. So if I make you uncomfortable, I want to know, and then I will leave. No. No. I don't think there... that's a possibility. We do not need to go to such extreme measures, and there are steps in between. Yes, I... I mean in the extreme. If it is something you cannot tolerate, I will not put that upon you. That is not what companions do. Oh, hell. Rostock, I see you. Yeah, I share the pain of Rostock. Mm. 
I have not been forthwith with my side of things completely either. That's for another day. <sighs> I understand what you're going through, Rostov. Seven, a deity that you really don't know too much of. You can only feel for what they felt for you. But do know that sometimes those whispers in the dark, those thoughts, the gods can be selfish too. Oh. They can tip the balance and take more than you give. Because yes. to them, we owe them. I know that all too well. But we do choose. We do choose. And I choose to stand by your side. And I choose to trust you. And I choose to protect and believe in you every step of this way. You tell me if I go too far. I will. That I promise. I may not the same promise. With me. I will, yes. But I do not promise that will change me. Just that I will respect you nonetheless. Mm. I understand. Mm. <sighs> uh, Malevic. I feel better. <laughs> Good. Uh, that makes me feel concerned. Yeah, absolutely. You are one of us, and um, it bothers me deeply when you feel like you're not. <laughs> Remember, you accepted me, even though we didn't have the best of occurrences in the beginning. And that I hold to the chest. Yes. Good. I have this odd feeling that I did something I wasn't supposed to do. And that Karun is in trouble. Yeah, about that. Um, so there was a sign and it said to do not shake. I remember lightly twisting the bottle. Nope, that's not what happened. Okay. You I shook remember it. a small smoke coming out, and that was it. Wasn't bad. It was. Nope, it was roiling and bubbling, and it poured all over you. Mm, okay, that wasn't a dream. Mm. All right. I don't need the rest. I think I remember now. Karen is going to be busy for a while. Uh, Did you cause another issue with a shopkeep, uh, Malavik? It was glistening. It was my favorite color. I, I could just... Sorry. <laughs> I wanted it. <laughs> it's all I right. swirl when you shake them. It's mesmerizing. <gasps> mesmerizing. But... Not... Anyway... Other than that, our uh, foray into the city was quite brutal. Uh, hmm? Outside of the paintings, yes. Uh, you mentioned you, you were able to find a, a, re a recipe. Yes, mm -hmm. I yeah, have been uh, playing with inks and working on seeing if I can infuse some of uh, my patrons' uh, magics into them. Oh. If you want to practice, it would be an honor for you to mark my skin. I was thinking of you with this uh, recipe in mind. Uh, oh. It allows you to read uh, any text once a day. <gasps> Pleasure oh. House text. I would like to read as well. Mark my body. It will take time and many days, yeah. but I can do it piecemeal. It is but an, a tattoo. Uh, I have some other recipes I have been playing around with, but this one is one I could not uh, figure out. Uh, each evening I will need to work on you, if that is okay. Yes. Mm. Where would you like it? 
Hmm. I'll need to think about it. Hmm. But, um, I wanted to show you something. I picked up a little something. Um... They are... <gasps> they reminded me of you. Oh, what are those potion think... bottles on your eyes? No, they are glasses, silly. Oh. So what do they do? Um, I'm not quite sure, but they are resemble an insect. You bought them without knowledge of what they do. Are they magical? It, yes. Um, I fumble around in my bag. I pull out a piece of paper. <laughs> Glasses of sociability. Ah, a, a social butterfly. I get it now. Oh. <laughs> ah. It's splendid. Ah, what, what do they do, though? I don't know. It doesn't say. They're quite charming on her, are they not? Yeah. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it can. brings out the uh, mm. green in her skin. Perhaps they do charm. Yes? There is a knock at the door. Come in. You see a, um, probably like a teenager, uh, kind of a little dirty. Um, you can see that they are holding, uh, an envelope. Uh, terribly sorry to bother you. I, I was, uh, told to deliver this to you. No. From Thank you. Who? Um... Well, another messenger. I, 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 I don't know much more than that. Sorry. Thank you. I will tip the individual two copper pieces. Oh, thank you. Mm. And Good I will day. hand the paper. Oh. Yes? Uh, nothing. Hmm. Turn and walk away. Mm. Close Strange the door. <laughs> I disagree with the young man. Mm. Uh, mm. Before you open that, I just hold my hand out. Detect magic on specifically the envelope. There I will give it to you. No magic in this envelope. Ah, I hand it back. Uh, no magic. I just wanted to be sure with all the dealings in this city. Hmm. Is there any addressing on it? Uh, I will look at it. Yes, it is uh, addressed to Gatewalkers. <coughs> Gatewalkers. <laughs> Little on the nose. Oh. <sighs> Doctor? Could it be? Could it be? Uh, Arcelia, open it, open it. Uh, my hand pauses in the air where I was about to hand it to Malavik. Um, all right. I will carefully open the envelope and see what's inside. You should see a new handout. Letter <gasps> from Dr. Riddleson. I was... Oh, sorry. shit! <sighs> it's uh, a letter signed by Dr. Riddleson. Gatewalkers, may this missive find you well. It's come to my attention that you've recently arrived in Mendev. Taking the long way home, it seems. No matter. I've also learned that you have some interesting new companions, including a young seer who bears the same mark of the Gatewalker as we all do. Continue to travel with her and help her complete her quest however you can. I have little doubt that this seer will ultimately be useful to our investigation to the meeting of the missing moment. Hmm. Uh, Read the, the passage at the bottom. Underneath. Uh, here it is. As for... 
As for the loss of Adronis, I am deeply sorry to hear that he has passed. He was a very competent investigator, and he will be missed. Please let your new companion, Malavik, <clears throat> know that I may have some news on his former team. S specifically, his brother. <gasps> I am what? investigating several resources to assist. Oh, it's a bad joke. This is not true. He wouldn't. Uh, um, there's more. Find attached a banknote with payment for your good work so far. Consider it a bonus. Once you've finished helping the seer, come back to Liepitstadt for a full report. You can expect a sizable reward upon your return. I imagine you have some questions, foremost perhaps how I know all of this. Suffice it is to say, I kept an ear to the ground after Fianara sent me word you disappeared from Southern Arches. The full story is too complicated to tell in a letter. I'll explain everything when you finish your work in Sakura Scar and return to Liepitstadt. And a note is here. 400 gold pieces. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, all right, I'm done. Why uh, oh, are you so sweaty? Are you having a joke? <gasps> oh, <laughs> another, uh, yes, uh, um, yes, uh, yeah, I get is that it. Is a banknote? It is. We received a letter from Dr. Riddleson. Mm. <sighs> oh. Here. And I'll hand you the note and the letter. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. It doesn't mention me. Hmm. Anyway, how much is the banknote for? 400 gold. Oh, good. Why is he helping us? I didn't mention my brother. How does he know about Malvik? Yes. He does. He has. Something watching us, or someone, it would seem. Hmm. You don't think it's connected to the... The one that writes, uh, the dark, uh, the dark the thing that writes. Furry creature. No, Yara, you mentioned you told Riddleson about that. And he yes. was unsure. I think yes. that is unconnected. Wouldn't it be funny if Dr. Riddleson was the one who tattooed our bodies with this mark and then inflated our memories with all of these fake things about uh, gates and walking through them? And really, it was Dr. Riddleson all along? Karun, perhaps do not give Malavik ideas. <laughs> Just saying, it would be funny. Oh, oh it was right. a joke! Ah! Yeah, yes, it did not seem like a joke. Was I wrong? I just suspect every human of malfeasance. I think we don't have enough information to draw to conclusions. Mm. And like you mm. said before, Malavik, we don't want to assume. <sighs> my words always come back and bite me in here and fine. I'll set aside my judgment until we see him in person. Mm. <sighs> this, this does leave... Uh, question, though. After the Sarkoris wastes, do we return to Liebestad, or uh, do we go to the Crown? It mm. says here, after we finish in Sarkoris, to go back to Liebestad. Mm. But was Is not it? the point mm. to come up yeah. here to go to the Crown? Mm. Perhaps he wishes to reconvene and discuss all that is occurred in order to get maybe yeah. assemble a, a larger team if he knows of things we do yes he may know of the whale then we bring mm. sakawachi with us when we go for a full report mm. maybe yeah. should we should show meet what should we show this to sakawachi mm. yeah. if it was for trust. Yes. We have nothing to hide. We've expressed all of our mission. 
and uh, perhaps showing them that, um, you know, we're not just following them around for no reason. Maybe they'll <laughs> find some answers as well. Maybe there are some things that we didn't unearth pre previously. I don't know. Hmm. But at any rate, uh, perhaps we go cash that in and then figure out where the rest of the day holds. We wanted to speak to perhaps the patron about these paintings or just have a conversation. So, Right. So um, about this patron that we...